We are excited to offer this rare 1926 Rolls-Royce Phantom 1 shooting brake. It was honored with a best-in-class award at the 2019 Amelia Island Concord d'Elegance. It has benefited from a largely sympathetic restoration of an original shooting brake that is stunning to see and experience. As is the case with nearly all shooting brakes from the 20s and 30s, 57NC was rebodied sometime after 1934. It was given the name Victoria by its longtime caretaker of approximately 65 years. The dark green paint of the cowl and bonnet is complemented by the black fenders and black painted wire wheels. The dark livery is punctuated with chrome lights, mirrors, trafficators, the iconic Rolls grill, and the uh, broad collection of handles, hinges, and rivets. Installed on the driver's side is a large hunting spotlight. And of course, the wooden body is massive and beautiful. She is extremely solid, belying its age and storied history. The wood has been refinished regularly over the years and is in very nice condition. Overall, Victoria exhibits a perfectly consistent patina that makes it a sensation anywhere it's seen. Let us be clear though, the chrome is mostly exhibiting scratches, wear, or some pitting, but it looks just right on Victoria. She comes complete with newer, beautiful tan leather interior and carpeting. The leather is soft and supple and wonderful to touch. It feels like your grandfather's favorite leather chair or jacket. In the back, a rear-facing period folding bench is positioned to hold a few additional shooters with ample room for a couple of dogs as well. Positioned behind the bench is the rifle rack for the shotguns. We love the fold-down tailgate that turns into a table for the picnic lunch. There is also an awning system and two period shotguns, well, with the firing pins removed, which make the display a sight to see. The dashboard could benefit from refinishing as the varnish is peeling. It is replete with enough instruments and gauges to fill the cockpit of an airplane, including a barometer. Victoria was ordered new in December 17, 1926, by Mrs. Ellis. It was originally a double cabriolet with coach work by Gills. Eventually, it made its way to the Commander T. Woolley of Fairford, England, and was the, and who was the last owner of Victoria before it was exported to the U.S. Mr. Kenneth Godden bought Victoria from the commander and exported it to San Francisco. This was believed to be in the mid-1950s since it was just after the Korean War. It has been registered in the Rolls-Royce Owners Club directory from 1978 to 2014 under Mr. Godden's name. He used it in California and Texas and actually drove it from Northern California to Texas across the Mojave Desert where it, where it actually uh, was available to help save some people. Mr. Godden sold Victoria to the present owner in approximately 2014. The present owners have enjoyed Victoria on ranches in Texas and have displayed her at various Rolls Royce and Concours events, including the aforementioned first in class win at the 2019 Amelia Island Concours d'Elegance. She has recently benefited from a significant mechanical servicing, including a completely new and rebuilt clutch assembly, rebuilding of the carburetor and fuel delivery system, and a major tune up. She now runs and drives very well and passes our inspection process, ensuring that it is safe and should prove to be a reliable touring car. Victoria is still in her prime and ready to enjoy, much to the delight of the crowds that gawk at her proportions and lines.